Smile and learn. Hello, my wizard friend. What are you doing? Can I help you? Hello there. Have you seen how many wands I've got here? My friends went to the playground, and I'm trying to count them, but there are so many of them I can't figure out how. I know an easy way to count all these wands. Do you want me to show you how to multiply? Wizard, my friend. Together, we're going to count all these magic wands thanks to the math operation of multiplication. Multiplying is like adding the same number several times. It's a math operation you're going to be doing a lot day after day. It's easy peasy. You'll see. As you can see, there are four hats and three wands into each one of them. In what way could we work out how many wands there are all together? We can try two ways, adding up or multiplying. Meaning we can calculate it like this. Three wands plus three more wands plus three more plus three more or three wands by four hats. Both ways will give us the same result, the number 12. So to multiply is to add up several times the same numbers, right? That's it. Let's look at another example. Imagine you need to buy three toads for your magic potions class. If each toad costs two coins, how many coins do you need to buy three of them? It's very simple. We can add up this way. Two coins plus two coins plus two coins, which equals six coins. Or we can multiply. Three toads by two coins each, which equals six coins. Meaning three toads cost six coins. Do you see how fast you can count now that you know how to multiply? I do. It's incredible. My friends are going to be amazed. And how do you call these multiplication numbers? You mean the parts of multiplication? The numbers to be multiplied are called factors. And the answer is the product. It's also important for you to know that the order in which we multiply the factors is not significant, because even if we switched that order, we'd still get the same result. Let's see how this works with this example. 3 by 5, which is the same as 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, equals 15. And 5 by 3, which is the same as 5 plus 5 plus 5, equals 15. This means that the result of multiplying 3 by 5 is the same as multiplying 5 by 3, 15. We call this the commutative property of multiplication, and it means that the order of factors does not change the product. It's that easy? What an amazing trick! Now you know how to multiply. You'll be surprised how often you're going to be doing this math operation. Now, if you learn the multiplication tables, you'd be unbeatable. Did you like the video? We have so many more. Subscribe by clicking on the seal. Ah, and if you want to keep watching more videos, click on the boxes.